I got a taste of real money, six figure salary, things were going great. And then I just lost the drive and realized that I wasn't free. I was stuck at a desk and I wanted to figure something else out. I've known Albert. He started cashing out homes with George. One thing led to another and now we're here eight properties later. When you're coming into a multi-unit that you're going to be flipping, you can start renovating on one unit at a time if you want to. Mm -hmm. You can get one unit ready and start renting it while you're working on another unit. You can have cash flow coming in while you're still rehabbing that property to turn it into a profit to offset your holding costs. When you wholesale, you see what the mindset is of the fix and flipper. And it basically, you know, hey, I'm just going to get this house. I'm going to get it up and ready and fixed. And then I'm going to sell it. And as these units start renting, the money just flows faster. We have a thing inside of our world, the velocity of money. That velocity of money is just sped up, right? With a single family residence, you have one tenant. So when we got into it, it wasn't by accident. It was just over time that we looked, you know, every single day we look at 20 properties, each one of us, all three of us. So we're looking at 60 properties a day. So when we recognize one that comes in, we automatically know what's a good deal. At the end of the day, we are marketers and we are capital raisers, right? I mean, Mm -hmm. we're always looking to take down our next investment. Our goal is to have financial freedom. Yes. Right. Okay, great. I make good money, but it's not wealth. And I got into the business of mortgage lending for wealth and that kind of slipped away. You get married, you have kids, all of a sudden bills and blah, blah, blah. And all that stuff kind of takes you away from everything. All of a sudden flash forward. And I'm like 15 years later, I'm going, well, wait a second. I don't have enough money to afford my daughter going to college. I mean, seriously, like total sweats and going, oh my God, I need to figure out something different. If you don't take any action, nothing is going to happen. I needed to take the leap. At some point it just came down to, you got to quit your job and you just need to take a leap of faith. And I haven't turned back since. Right. Super scary to do that. Super it scary. is. In my case, if I just didn't take it, I'd still be at the desk right now. Mindset's everything. If you don't have the right mentality, abundance mentality, everything like that, you're not going to go very far. You may be successful, but you're going to hit a roadblock at somewhere. And so then that programming is hard to overcome. I needed to take the leap.